Good morning dear friends and welcome to this reflection. I thank you for taking your time off to hear this reflection. As we begin, let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The verse that we are going to reflect on today is Matthew 14:19. That says, and he directed the people to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish. and looking up to heaven he gave thanks and broke the loaves then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people as we go a bit back tracking to the chapter uh, 14 of matthew we hear about the beheading of saint john the baptist by herod and herod asks his attendants who is this jesus On hearing this, John's disciples come and tell Jesus about it. If we move to Mark, in the same timeline, we hear that the disciples have just returned after the mission of preaching the good news, and they did not have anything to eat, and they were tired. Judging from the background of both these chapters, we realize that Jesus would probably have been a bit sad by the news of. John's beheading and he wanted to be with his disciples alone to eat something to rest and probably discuss about all that has happened in the midst of all this when he sees the crowds the 5000 people yearning to hear from him he has compassion on them which brings us to our first point compassion Many times in life when we have made a lot of plans when we had a long day and someone comes and asks for our time for our help how do we respond for example you've had a long day at work you're tired you're hungry you're angry and maybe frustrated and when you return home uh your neighbor comes and asks you can you help me uh to go to the doctor accompany me there what will be our reply go by the ambulance or call someone else but we are called to be like jesus right to be compassionate and to put that person first before us sometimes we are the only bible that others read and they will know we are christians by our love now we move on to the first line of the verse and he directed the people to sit down on the grass when i read this i just thought why did such a huge number of people follow jesus it was probably because they really wanted to hear him preaching they wanted him to heal the sick and maybe other reasons it was such an isolated place and these people did not carry enough food for the day probably no food at all it could either be because they were foolish or they had complete faith in jesus to provide for all their needs if you read psalms 32:2 it tells us about the good shepherd he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters doesn't this resonate with the first line jesus made the people sit on green grass which brings us to our second point faith in the good shepherd for all our needs jesus is the good shepherd and he will always provide for us even when we cannot understand how or in his own time do we have faith in jesus to provide for all our needs example suppose our salary does not come and we have a lot of debt do we complain do we worry do we search for various other ways to get a salary or do we first come to jesus and ask him pray to him and have faith in him matthew 6 tells us that even though the birds do not sow seed nor the grass weaves clothes yet our heavenly father provides them with food and clothing how much more will our heavenly father provide for us who are much more worth than few birds or grass let us have complete faith in jesus for all our needs the next line 
reads, Looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves, and he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. Which brings us to our third point, the Eucharist. This is the exact thing that happens in the Holy Eucharist. The main celebrant who is in the place of Jesus holds up the, uh, the host and looks up to heaven and prays. Then he breaks the host, gives it to the Eucharistic ministers or the other priests who give it to us to eat. This host is transformed into the body of Jesus. The name uh, Eucharist or the word Eucharist comes from the Greek word Eucharistia which means Thanksgiving which is exactly what happened on this day. And do you know from where Jesus got the food? The boy who had five loaves and two fish, he offered it generous, generously to Jesus. This is the same thing that happens at our offertory during Mass. We offer up our lives, our tensions, our worries, our dreams, our plans, our strength, our mind and our heart. And the Lord Jesus will surely bless all these areas that we offer to Him and give us grace tenfold to overcome all our needs. Do you know that when we offer during the offertory, it is said that our guardian angels walk in procession offering whatever we have given to Jesus on the altar. When we don't offer anything, our guardian angels go really sad, empty handed and ashamed. And when we are not concentrating in Mass, they go crying. So let us concentrate on Mass and let this Mass be a wonderful offering and thanksgiving. Lastly, the disciples collected 12 baskets of leftover food. This brings us to the fourth point, sharing of the leftovers. Do you, uh, did you ever wonder what would have happened with the 12 baskets of leftovers? Surely Jesus and his disciples would have given it to the people around the area who were in need of food. This signifies the restoration of the 12 tribes of Israel. It also means that the people who were initial hearers of Jesus' words go and give it out and share it with the other people. We do once we have received the bread of life during the Holy Eucharist, that is Jesus, have enough and more to go and share it with all the people through our time, our talents and our love. So let us recap the four points which we have learned. First, compassion. Jesus, even though he was tired and maybe sad and had plans to go and rest, saw the people and had compassion on them and served them. Let us too have compassion on people when we are tired or have our own plans. Two, faith. Let's have faith in Jesus just as the people had faith in him and depended him on him for their food and all their needs. Third, the Eucharist. During the Eucharist, let us concentrate on Mass even though if it is online. And let us offer up ourselves and give thanks to God for all the blessings he will shower on us. And the fourth, sharing the leftovers. Let us share whatever we have received through this reflection, through Mass and all the teachings with our fellow brothers and sisters, not only Catholics but of all the other faith so that they know the good news. Let us say a short prayer. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for this beautiful reflection you have given us, O Lord. Lord, let these seeds of your word be sown deep in the soil of our hearts, Lord, and let it bear fruit. Mary, our mother, pray for us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace of Christ.